years later, is it safe right to look back at past pop culture and cinema and see if films that are 10 or more years older still hold up? Today's episode will be on Superman Returns. It was released on June 28, 2006, so does it hold up? What year is it? Whoa, what? Oh, May, Thursday. What year? No, what? Year is it? What up? This video is gonna release on my birthday, and this movie was released on my birthday. I think I've seen this film, cause here's the thing, there's a bunch of films that I seen when I was little, but I just completely forgot about. And like researching it, I did not know that it was a part of like the Christopher Reeve stuff. Even though it should've been obvious with the whole opening credits, but I just completely did not realize that upon like researching right around. So I think plays a decent Superman. I don't know if I love him. I love him in Crisis, his Kingdom Come suit and everything, shit was perfect. But in this film, I'm on board, but I think they could've improved on it if this movie had a sequel and it did it sadly i think the one big glaring issue with this film it is a bit too long two hours and like 34 minutes should have been like two hours max maybe an hour 50 minutes because i think playing sequence where it was going on forever where i was like god damn this is feels like this seems to be prolonged for the sake of being prolonged it should just been they're in trouble lois lane is in it and then clark is like all right time to go up in the sky and help I and mean, while it was cool it just felt prolonged for absolutely no reason that's the only one that stands out but there's other sequences that felt kind of like okay i don't don't really care about this or not care about it, it was just going on for a bit too long at least for me with an adjustment to the superman story which i appreciate because i was like oh no it's gonna be a reboot it's like okay at least don't make the same film and they didn't luckily it's like okay thank god they made sort of a different a different perspective a different relationship between lois lane and clark Kent. so lois lane she's moved on from superman because she had this relationship with superman according to both of them he just kind of left the reason why is he left the krypton because apparently somebody fixed it i think he said somebody did fix it right something like that either way that's why he left without saying goodbye to lois lane so she was heartbroken by that she wrote this article saying that the world doesn't need Superman because he did leave the people for years according to this like movie He left for like five years I think something along those lines for a long time and then he just came back all of a sudden and be like, Hey Superman's back do we need him? So I like that little aspect of the whole story being like, and now he's come back. Why did you leave? I think there should have been more of that by like public. Be like, why did you leave Superman? They appreciate him coming back, but instead of like, why did you leave? Are you just coming back? I don't know. I think they should have played more into that instead of just leaving that to Lois Lane. But Lois Lane, she's moved on, right? She has a husband. She has a kid. However, she still hasn't moved on from Superman because she still feels it's missing that they are destined to be together or whatnot. Probably, I don't really care about this, but something different from Lois Lane and Clark Kent. And then Superman comes back. And now Lois Lane has doubts of being in this family. She loves her son, obviously, but but then her husband is the husband played by the actor who played cyclops in x-men i think it is right is it i think he's the actor if it is this is kind of funny but he starts questioning her about you know she's acting weird or whatnot since superman's back she does reveal that they had something going on it creates this tension but it doesn't divorce or anything is it going to turn into some kind of love triangle because i was worried i was like oh no do not turn this superman story into a goddamn love triangle and they didn't both her and clark they both save each other or whatnot clark is standing there in plain sight i think there's even one moment where both of them are talking about hey how tall is superman how is he built does he look like Kent? Look at him with his glasses on. He waves, hey, and then they just laugh, brush it off. Lex Luthor himself played by Kevin Spacey. So I do like the fact that Lex Luthor and Superman, they don't meet each other until the very end, building this whole tension up of Lex hating Kryptonians. And then Superman, he's coming back after years of being gone, being this beacon of hope once again. And I like that. But Lex does the same old, same old with his quirkiness of sacrificing his members, sacrifices his lady to be in that car. And she thinks drive off and whatnot. But the car is actually broken, screaming for her life. That is a decoy and a distraction for superman so that he could get the kryptonite for the museum i like aspects of that but it's just a bunch of stairs or whatnot like looking and anonymous music and i don't know just i'm lex you know yeah, that's really it and like the fight was a bit underwhelming because i feel like with them not meeting it was gonna build up this whole massive fight okay maybe not massive but just full conversation and it wasn't that at all it was just lex got the upper hand stabbed the night yeah i don't know like his lady member i forgot her name she actually admired superman to a point to where she doubts her side like should i be on lex luther's side or humanity's side i mean she just kind of throws away the kryptonite and then they just are never seen on screen again they just kind of go away which i thought was weird but i don't think he's the weakest part i think the weakest part is runtime okay maybe it is maybe the whole conversation part was probably the weakest part but i don't know it's just i guess i wanted more from lex instead of just being like i want kryptonite distracted superman i want a man to steal down typical lex luther having the upper hand being smart being blindness sacrificing his own people and in need of destroying this man of steel his obsession with the man of steel that i wish could have done some different things in this film then brad and ralph himself again 
again, like I said earlier, I like him. With the material that he was given, I think he did a decent job. He is a bit, I don't know, he feels a bit robotic at times. Robotic is not the right word, but maybe stiff at times. But being away, his mom saving him from this fire thing, seeing his younger self in the cornfield, really cool scene. And he has scenes of like the whole flying out of space homage, like the Reeves one and like the car thing. So there's homages in there. But I do think his story with Lowe's, like while different, while I appreciate that, it's kind of whatever. It's like, ah, I don't, I don't really care about this. But again, I feel like I'm just repeating myself, but I think they really should have gone into the plug, like their perception of Superman. Like not full on turn on him, but just watching him. You know, like he's saving people. It's like, yeah, but you love those, man. Like, I don't know. Okay, hold on. Maybe thinking about it now, probably I get why they didn't do that because it would have just been redundant. But I don't know. Maybe lean into more in that, like the first half or something like that. Have the public turn around, embrace him once again, and then win over Alex as well. Like, I don't know. It's just, I think I just really wanted that for this film. And it was different enough where it could have been its own thing, where it didn't need to be part of this continuity of the Reeves Superman, but it did. And the suit itself is good, but it's not my favorite. It's definitely like obviously an all mod, but I don't think I like the underwear part. It's just a bit weird for me. Again, his suit in the Crisis one is awesome. So Superman Returns, I think it is a bit too long of a movie. Should have been cut like 30 minutes and two hours max. The different changes to Lois Lane and Lex. While I like the different changes to Lois Lane and Lex, I think they could have done more with them. Story of Lois Lane and Clark Kent wanting each other, wanting destiny. Th okay, whatever. I mean, they're meant to be together. It's what makes it work. Superman needs Lois. So in the end, Superman Returns, 15 years later, still holds up and it's still a good movie, but I don't love it. But it holds up and it's still good. So that's it for me. This has been The World So Far. Thank you.